it's Peter Chaberski here. I'm with the Triodetics Multipoint Foundation Division. As you see, we do the steel modular foundations all over the world. Right here, we're in San Jose, California, where we're participating in a project with Habitat for Humanity and ArcSpace. Uh, Habitat for Humanity is the, is the site manager. ArcSpace is the provider of the steel modular buildings behind us, which we are supporting with our Multipoint Foundation. The foundation itself took about two and a half days to install. We did that back in September and it was done mostly by volunteers. So this is very user-friendly product, very quick to install. This is the first uh, foundation system like this in California? Uh, well, we have a couple other installations like a uh, more residential. Yep. That are, like I said, the owner has one and there's another one in San Francisco Bay uh, near Sausalito. This is the first like kind of commercial application. Then that, then this is the first one where we have a steel modular building on. The other ones are uh, traditional, well, more traditional uh, type of homes that are built. And the whole plan is to move this, move these two buildings somewhere else eventually within several years. They're saying anywhere between three to seven years. Uh, also, this is more of a demonstration of what can happen in other locations in California and in the United States for brownfields. This is still considered a brownfield and it's built up. So this is what the, uh, the, the intent is and the Habitat for Humanity decided to, uh, for these for this particular common area buildings, they decided, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do this. And it made sense to them. The ADA ramps could just be built using the same foundation too. So literally 100% of the development could be just floating. Correct, yeah, temporary. they could have been, yes. We're also finding out that there are property owners, developers that have sites that are, out. so this is an option for them, instead of having just an empty lot or an empty piece of land sitting there, they could set up a temporary hotel, they could set up temporary housing, temporary whatever facility on a multi-point foundation system, have it there for five, six years, the area starts getting built up because you know there's something already there and then when they're ready to build a bigger a taller building they just remove the multi-point and they're good to go and their property value has gone up because of what's been going on around them the shot of a crate this is where the tubes are oh, here are some leftover oh, tubes okay this is how the tubes got shipped down from uh from canada so this is coming off of the uh the flatbed from another site Yeah. Not too close, just in case. Yeah, we have, this is front row seats. Where the tubes are, they were longer and it's down. We're looking at the, uh, the something that we designed at the Triodetic, how to connect the, the steel modular building to our foundation mm. by a plate system. And this, we call this a toggle. Where there's a bolt as you can see and uh, we just twist it and it uh, latches onto the sides in, inside the, the knuckle here and here we'll show you in particular how the steel modular units are attached to the multi-point foundation and as you see the multi-point foundation is adjustable and all the way down to the bottom, as you see. Yeah. Sitting on, it's sitting on right on, this is compacted uh, soil. It's 95% compaction. And right now you see, we uh, recommended the timber, use of timber pads, just to spread the load a bit more. And the, uh, and our base plates are sitting on top of these timber pads. Timber pads are designed on site as required based on the geotech. How is it, how is it attached into the ground? Are these, are these plates drilled to the timber pads? No, 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 there's nothing. This is sitting right on the ground, Charlie. There's no requirement for these to be inserted or use cement or steel rods or anything. This is the specific specificity of the multi-point foundation system. Hmm. This is a brown field. And so usually you're not allowed to drill or dig into the brown field. So this is where the multi-point foundation comes in into play and into practical use. As you see, there's no, the timber pad is sitting right on the ground. Oh, wow. And our base plates are sitting right on the timber pad and there's no anchors or anything in this particular case. In certain cases, you can, well, let me just get out of the way here. In certain cases, if there's a high wind area 
or a high, uh, uh, you know, ground shifting, you can put in the uh, rods. As you can see, the base plate's already pre-drilled for that uh, possibility. Mm -hmm. So, but it's not a requirement. Here in California, we may have to put in uh, these uh, earthquake uh, straps, strapping, but that can be done later by the local contractor to put the strapping in to, to satisfy the code requirements here in California. Uh, I'll show you underneath a bit more how the three levels of the foundation are put together. You have your top cord runs the top that holds the building in place. You have your middle cords, which really distribute the load, and then your bottom cords, which uh, keeps everything secure. And they're the adjustable ones. Again, I'll show you the how we can adjust them with the wing nut. Yeah, just loosen this bolt, and you can adjust the the rod and the uh, hub, as we call this right here, up and down as required. How many points is the foundation attached to like one shipping container size module? Is it just the four corners? We designed it to be just the four corners for the for this particular kind of construction, like the steel modular construction. You use that word uh, container design. You have your four knuckles. However, we also wanted to just make sure that, you know, the load is properly evenly distributed so we created these extra plates here connection plates every uh what have we got here every 12 feet or so it's all site specific it all really depends in other installations you'd have a full rail running along the length of the top cord mm -hmm. but in this case uh everything is very secure like the geotech here is, was very solid here's how the two buildings we had to design two separate foundations because mm -hmm. they're two separate buildings Put together by these modulars and here's the uh how close they are that's within what inch maybe two yeah. is that so that's the connection as you see there's a lot of space for the utilities to be put in underneath there is crawl space uh you know and you, you can use it for a certain kind of storage you can also skirt this you can add some clips over here and you can skirt the whole uh, foundation if, if you want, if you're in a more residential area. From the building code perspective, like are these built to California uh, building codes or? You know, they're not, you know, the California building code is wide. The, the, our, yeah. our system is so unique that in certain jurisdictions, even up in Canada, it's not in the code. It's always, it's presented as, an, uh, as a unique or a, Supp supplementary foundation system. Mm. And once the engineers read about it and r r see the numbers and see the the, the uh, mathematics of it, it's all a matter of the calculations, right, of the loads. Mm -hmm. Then, then the, the there's like an uh, aha moment for the, for these uh, building departments to go, okay, this makes sense now. It's just it's it's has been used for the last 40 years up north, north of the 60th parallel. So up in Alaska, they've been ordering since you know last 40 years. Northern Canada, Norway, and uh, si Russian Siberia. You know, we moved. Uh, we put a whole village on the multi-point system. Started in the last six years or so. We have a started in the city of Vancouver, where we have 20 buildings sitting on multi-point in downtown Vancouver, on on former parking lots and former gas sites, and they put three-story modulars and it's low-income government housing and. We're uh, and within a matter of 18 months, we put 20, 20 uh, foundations in place. So that was with Horizon North, as you know. You have the plates that are going to be uh, attached to the steel modular building, and then we stepped it down, and the uh, wood beams are going to be sitting on this side. Uh, the foundation, the building is going to be here, and the, the beams are going to be here. From our perspective, like from our site, from our product, there is no cement, there's no remediation. So uh, required if they want to move these, because these are technically they're here temporarily. These buildings they're supposed yep. to be here for four or five years, so these they can be removed and then uh, placed somewhere else. Thanks so much for the tour today, yeah. Peter. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, we'll okay. continue the conversation. <laughs>